Hey guys, today I want to talk about a Stream Deck alternative. So the last few months, Stream Decks have become amazing. Seeing what they can do when people are achieving with them, it is absolutely awesome. However, I don't have 200 Australian dollars to buy one, so I went on a, I've been on a journey for a while now to find an, a Stream Deck alternative that's going to suit my needs and hopefully yours. So what I did was I had a look at the numpad options and they were good, however the custom imagery wasn't really great. Then I looked at the Raspberry Pi alternatives and they were really cool, however again you might as well just get a numpad and it still didn't serve without the pictures, you had to glue them on and such. I have a keyboard with G keys and I stuck pictures on them and hopefully that worked but unfortunately they just came off and became gross over time so that didn't work so over the last few months I've been looking for a stream deck alternative that hopefully would work on an old Android phone I found one just the other day and I want to tell you guys all about it today so this program is called macro deck and you can get it on uh, your Android device. I've got it on an old Huawei that I used to use. It's got a bit of a scratch screen, but uh, this is amazing. I'm really excited about this. Those of you that would have probably an Android phone lying around or even use your own Android phone plugged up, uh, this is awesome. So basically what it does is it's using the Wi-Fi and it's cutting the middleman out and it's you can add the imagery and such. I'm, I'm still working on it, but for example, cookies. Here, have a cookie. And so I've been playing around with it for a while and I'm just super excited. So macro, I'll leave the links down below for this one. But this program uh, has to be running in the background and you can do all sorts of little shortcut keys just like your G keys. Um, and this is what it looks like on the phone. If you see that, yep. Uh, and it's just amazing. So I can turn the volume up on my computer, turn the volume down, I can add keys. So let's add a, a shortcut key. Very cool. So what I've done is I've deleted the bomb button key. So what you got to do firstly is you add a shortcut key. So you go down here, add sh keyboard shortcut, click on it, apply select macro, and then it's going to come up with this. Go to advanced options and it comes with your commands. Now one thing that really bugged me straight up uh, is because my keyboard is completely used up with um, different games and such and so I normally do like shift and arrows and shift and X, shift and Z for specific macros so I was hoping that I could use my G keys but unfortunately my even though they're assigned they don't work so what I had to do was had to be use shift and for example Z which is the cookie. So first of all let's add our key. We're going to use do the bomb. So add the key which is just clicking that and you click shift and then you press X which our shortcut will be shift and X on OBS. Um, and then see how it's got shift up and down. So we're going to move the down so shift this is how you combine keys by the way. Uh, shift down, X down, shift up, X up. Now if we leave it like that, what I find is that it doesn't always pick it up and it's too quick for the computer to be able to pick up on it. So how, what we, how we fix that is by adding a millisecond um, delay. So when it goes down, we add two seconds, one and two, and then it goes up. And what I've found is that this works every time now. So we click our button. Oh, we got it, we got to actually load it in. Then what we can do is add an image. So in this button icon section, we can add images just like you can do with your Stream Deck. So you move it up there, it automatically adds it to the phone screen, and you click your button. And there's your bomb. Quick, look out! Uh, <laughs> your bomb and it's that simple so if you want screen transitions and such um, go and check out OBS how to do macro keys but this is amazing this is the solution to your stream deck 
affordability scenario. Now, just a quick last thing, make sure when you're trying to connect, get your IP address here, not from the phone version. Uh, I got a little bit stuck there and it was really frustrating, but this is awesome. I wanna see what you guys do. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you do for your macros and how uh, it has affected your stream. Even leave a link to your stream. I'd love to check out your stream, guys. Don't forget to check me out on We Are Red Panda underscore Jace and Twitch, and I stream every Monday night. I can't wait to see you guys there. Bye for now. Peace. Much love.